Hello everyone, <clears throat> my name is Yasser. Uh, I'm trying to do a simple application uh, using Node.js uh, and I'm trying to uh, to reach uh, an API, computer vision API uh, by Google uh, but I, I found uh, I found it uh, a little confusing from the documentation of the uh, uh, of the of the API itself, so I tried uh, and I decide to make a simple video how to set up uh, the API, how how to set up the authentication and uh, uh, and try some image and uh, get the data from it using the API. So I have a simple application uh, after npm in it uh, inside my folder here. Uh, it's a Google API. You can call it, of course, whatever you want. Um, after setting up the npm and setting these uh, dependencies, we need uh, Google Cloud slash Vision for the computer vision. Uh, you can use another API, but you have to first type Google Cloud. A actually, we can find it in here in the documentation npm install dash dash save uh, google cloud slash vision okay after installing it I, I'm gonna use uh, express to call the server then uh, also I need uh, to, to use node moon excuse me okay uh, I already so you can you can go ahead and install them but I, after installing them, I will do, I will create my main JS for, uh, file. First, I need to to import Express or require Express. Then I need uh, to instantiate it. Then we're gonna use listen for the port five thousand localhost. callback function I'm gonna cancel out some message okay I'm gonna save it then I will set up the script for Nodmon uh, I will call it server. You can call it, of course, whatever you want. Not mon. Um, not mon. I guess it's main. Yes, main.js. And save it. Let's try it. Let's call the uh, npm one server. Okay, server is running. Actually, we need to server. Our server is running. You you notice that uh, after I save the server, uh, relaunch automatically. So that uh, that's because we are using Nodemon. Okay, <coughs> let's close this. Don't need any more. Then we need to. To require our, but before requiring uh, the Google API, we need to setting up setting up the uh, uh, our account on console.google 
console.cloud.google.com uh, you have uh, you need to have uh, an account here uh, after setting up the account you can go uh, to the console and then uh, have you should you should have uh, a project up and running if you don't have one uh, you need to create a new one then after creating your project you need to go to uh, to the dashboard and enabling the API you need so in our case we need the vision API Sorry. okay here's our API you need to use I already enabled it uh, you can you should you should enable it first and then we go back into into credentials and create a new credential here's we need to create a new credential <coughs> I hope my voice is clear actually I'm not recording videos it's uh, it's my second time I guess to record some tutorial on YouTube so uh, here we need to create a creden credential we, we select service account key we uh, we select the service account actually when when you enable the uh, the API you you set up this this uh, service account you you need to uh, select the same one and uh, we 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 using JSON we need we need JSON data so we after that you you uh, hit create and then you get uh, a file JSON file like this like this one here uh, it will download automatically into your machine after that you need to enable the billing actually I, I'm not sure if, if this is uh, something you have to do in order to uh, to make it working for the API but but I I I, uh, I already enable it and setting up the a credit card actually it's not it's not gonna cost you any anything for uh, for one year they give you about uh, three hundred dollars you can use it for free uh, for about one year okay after that said we need to in the documents I, I found some examples here yeah here's a simple example it's about storage there's another one here it's about vision first you need to uh, import the vision and then we set up a client after that we uh, call the client and call a method called uh, label detection and setting setting the uh, the image directory the image we not we want to process and get the data from it then we it gives us uh, a promise with the results uh, we can loop through the results and getting the uh, the information we need from it okay after that there's a of course a catch for the promise to deal to handle the promise uh, errors if there is okay <coughs> so first we need to uh, let's copy this actually I'm gonna include the link in the description I will I I will uh, include a uh, an image uh, 
I have this uh, simple image. It's uh, some nature with water and a water shell. I included it inside the uh, project directory. Okay, my hard drive is dying actually. I need to replace it soon. Okay, this is our image. So here we need to change the directory of the image into our image. We call it nature nature underscore one dot jpg okay <coughs> now if you save this if you save this you you're gonna get an error because vision is not defined vision is not Vision is not defined. Oh, we, we forgot to create or to import the the vision. Just import it. Vision require from Google Google Cloud slash vision. Okay. Save it. After saving it, we, we're going to get an error <coughs> because we we uh, hadn't setting up the, the authentication yet. So here's the problem that occurs for a lot of people. First we need here inside, uh, inside this, this method we need to set up uh, we need to key file name this and point is pointed to to our file we already downloaded here from uh, from the console from our account in Google after setting up our account we download a JSON file we need that file for authentication here's our file I'm gonna I'm gonna delete it later but we need to include it here in our script so <coughs> I'm gonna change the name to make it easy uh, API key dot JSON okay, sorry, JSON. And here it's API key.json. Okay. Here's our file. We save. And we are running the server right now. We're not having any errors like this. Actually, if you see the error before we add the authentication it's calling it's saying that uh, couldn't follow the default credentials there's no credentials uh, we we didn't uh, we didn't put any credentials for authentication so now we added it it's already inside the application so now we are getting the we are getting this response actually if you see if you uh, in the uh, in our code in the response we are getting results we are getting labels from results actually let's let's cancel out the uh, the response to see how it works console .log. the results Okay, save it. It's also slow because I'm using a VPN and I'm in Syria, so it's uh, it's Google plugged here in, in Syria, so 
I have to use a VPN so it's a little a little slow as you say okay here we are getting our response or our uh, results as we call as we called it first we have this it's an array of objects as you can see face annotations then mark uh, annotations logo annotations label annotations we can see if there's there's uh, it gives us a lot of things maybe if there's any faces inside the picture it will uh, give us some description about them if there's a logo if there's a text it, it will uh, provide the text here uh, a lot of things actually it's, it's a amazing API so here here is the label annotation we, we are looking for it will give us the uh, description the uh, a lot of things in, in the image we are looking for so in our code we we, we are targeting this label annotations inside the array so so we are getting so we are getting these uh, results it's uncommon and uh, we are getting the labels from results zero as you can see there's the first object of the array the first element uh, inside the first element we are targeting the label annotations so we are getting the objects here from the label annotations and setting that to labels labels we have an array so we are uh, looping through the, the uh, array and <coughs> console log the label description actually description is inside the object itself so we have to save this and see the results Of course, you can target whatever you want inside your image, <coughs> depending the uh, depending on the image you have and your the image uh, type you you, you are uh, using in your in your application. It's really really amazing API. Yes, a little slow. Okay, <coughs> here's our labels. The first label is the label description is a waterfall we have water we have nature uh, body of water uh, water resources stream uh, okay we can we can let's get the label itself okay and see what we we got here Maybe we can get um, it. Have it, actually it has a, a lot of uh, priorities inside the the object itself. There's description. There's a uh, a level of of validation of this of this uh, of this priority itself. So it can take like this. Okay. There's location. Here's all our la uh, labels. There's location, priorities, um, description, score. It's it's it taking giving giving us the percentage of of how this uh, how this description is right from this uh, from this image. So it is it is about. Uh, Ninety-eight percent. So it's it's uh, it's positive. You can you can take this this data and manipulate it inside your app and uh, make a great application. So that's it. I hope this uh, help uh, a lot of people. Thank you very much.